Okay, so we've made some of the adjustments to the people. Uh, we've tweaked the textures enough where we know when we export them, they're looking the way we want to look. So what we want to do now is export the model through a 3D program or a rendering program that we use. So let me go to my view. Uh, what I'm going to do is send a test export first just to set my dimensions. So 5500, I'll write those down. I export three different files. So I'm going to export one is the color. I'm going to create a new style that's just for the line weights. So what's in the model? I'm just going to copy this one. Call it line weights update. And this will have no endpoints, no profile. I just need the edges. Okay, so I'm gonna update that one. And then in my scenes, I'm gonna make a new scene and it's gonna be, so scene one, line weight. I'm also gonna turn off some layers. I don't want the trees. So no vegetation, um, no people. I might leave the cars. Let's see what that looks like, come on. Okay, so. This will just help us kind of define some of the edges. So let's send an export, 2D, just double check. So that's good. I'm gonna call it line weights, export that. And then we'll use shader light. So same thing, those are my dimensions for my uh, color exports so they'll match up with the line weights. The, I'm going to send it as a low quality just to do a test. Um, we use global illumination for the mode, single tiled, uh, so that way it'll kind of render it out quickly. We use the physical sky. I think these settings will be good. So you don't have to turn on shadows. Shader, shader light will art, automatically turn on the shadows. So just render it. So while that's doing that, I will refresh, set up the SketchUp file, or set up the Photoshop file. Okay. So then this file will be kind of a combination of three different layers. So this is going to be multiply, I'll try like 15, um, just drop this in, so you can kind of see <clears throat> some of the line weights coming through, I'm toggling on and off. So it just gives a little bit of a defined edge. I may knock it down a little bit more, more like 20, so it's just light, um, just slightly more. And then I'm gonna add a brightness, a vibrant, that should be good. So for brightness, I might go like 15. Vibrant, I might go. Ah, that's too much, 35. To give you a sense, it's the original, that one's just a little bit more cleaned up. And I'll save it. That'll ultimately get dropped into the final plan. It'll probably just be like a, a small vignette with some supporting text to call out, things like that. Um, the other thing that we'll do is the graphic that we had done before for the overall downtown. We'll probably drop this in at that same view and just get it as the context within the entire city um, with the major improvements around it. Uh, so that's those are the big things that we'll be able to do with this model as we move forward.